is here. Vaccine rollouts are soon underway. Yep, Tuesday, the UK said it's going to administer its first round of vaccines to healthcare workers. Meanwhile, we here in the United States are waiting with anticipation as the FDA plans to meet to approve the Pfizer vaccine December 10th. Moderna's is going to be out December 17th. So really, it's uh, right around the corner. Now, that doesn't mean everybody's going to get it right away. It's a process like everything else. There is a country, though, that already had started out its first rollout. Many healthcare workers, as we reported months ago in Russia, had gotten the vaccine. This week, more doctors, more teachers, social workers also are going to be getting in line to get their injections. RT Julia Shapovalova with this historic date and more on the new phase out of the Sputnik V rollout. In the vaccine we trust. That's what the Russian authorities believe as large-scale COVID-19 vaccinations start in the country. Nearly 2 million doses of the world's first registered coronavirus vaccine called Sputnik V have been produced. And if required, Russia's ready to manufacture much more. Our role is to fulfill the contract by producing the required number of doses in the established time frame. And not just us, other companies carry their share of the load. But I am positive that our production capacity will be enough to handle it. We are at the Biocard company in St. Petersburg. It's one of the enterprises that's received a contract with the government to produce Russia's first registered Sputnik V coronavirus vaccine. Sputnik V is a two-shot adenovirus-based vector vaccine. The difference between Sputnik V and some other international COVID-19 vaccines is this vector is a human-based one, not animal. So what's a vector? It's an engineered virus lacking the gene for reproduction. Therefore, it's unable to infect. What it does is serve as a vehicle for coronavirus proteins. Over three weeks, a patient receives two different jabs to form antibodies and disease resistance. The vaccine consists of two different shots. It's a quite complex task in terms of production because you have to manufacture two vaccines as opposed to one. Before taking a coronavirus vaccination, everyone is examined to make sure they're healthy. Then it takes another 15 minutes to thaw the vaccine. Sputnik V is stored at minus 18 degrees C, and developers say that's an advantage compared to other countries' vaccines requiring significantly lower temperatures for storage. After the injection, doctors monitor you for 30 minutes before you're free to go. I am a teacher. I think the vaccination is a great way to protect myself and most importantly my relatives. My parents are already 65 plus. Also, it's free. I was initially examined by a doctor. He asked if I had any chronic diseases, measured my blood pressure, looked at my electronic medical record. Then I was allowed to undergo this procedure. Everything was fast. I received a text saying that I can be one of the first for the vaccination. I'm so glad and I trust the vaccine. Yes, I had doubts, but I've made my decision and I'm here today. The CEO of the Russian Direct Investment Fund responsible for promoting Russian coronavirus vaccines says Sputnik V is in massive demand abroad. It's safe, more than 92 percent effective, it will cost around $10 per dose and it will be supplied to any nation at the same price. More than 50 countries have applied for the purchase of Sputnik V. Also, the production using the Russian technology is currently being set up at various facilities in several countries. Samples have already been delivered to Serbia, Hungary, Uzbekistan and other countries. We will uh, be producing tens of millions of doses of the vaccine already starting from February uh, in four key geographies. It's India, Brazil, China, Korea and Argentina. We already reached supply agreement and production agreement with those countries. The vaccine is now being supplied to all corners of the country. At the same time, the military is receiving Sputnik V2. In Russia, the COVID-19 jab is voluntary and free of charge. And even though some people still remain skeptical about the safety and efficiency of the vaccine, most agree that large-scale vaccination is probably the only way now to put an end to the pandemic. Yulia Shapovalova, RC.